The House of Representatives Joint Committees on Environment, Climate Change, Petroleum, Upstream and Downstream have begun probe into the activities of oil companies and the impact on frontline communities. The aim, according to the committees, is to ensure that the voices of these communities are heard and their concerns addressed. To this end, the House of Representatives Joint Committees decided through a House resolution to investigate causes and effects of this degradation its impact on affected frontline communities while proffering a lasting solution to address this disturbing menace. This were all stated by both the Speaker of the House, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, who was represented by the Deputy Minority Whip, Honorable George Ozodinobi, and the House Chairman on Environment, Honorable Pondi Bajobo. Also, as representative of the people, we must ensure that the voices of those most affected by the environmental damage are heard and respected. We have to listen to the fears that are faced by the frontline communities, indigenous people, and marginalized groups who usually bear the brunt of environmental injustice. It is therefore for this reason that the House mandated the Committees of Environment on Environment, Petroleum Resources Upstream, Petroleum Resources Downstream and Climate Change to investigate the environmental damage in oil producing communities caused by non-compliance to extant laws by oil producing companies. We have also gone a step further as a nation, better out of commitment to environmental protection, conservation, and sustainability. Established institutions and agencies of government saddled with the responsibility and authority to enforce this basic minimum and ensure environmental justice in all of our local communities. However, despite the laws and regulations enacted to safeguard our environment and the regula regulatory agencies of the government to establish, establish to address these concerns, the environment, environmental damage in oil producing communities still persists unabated. It is therefore incumbent on us as representatives of the people to, unit, to identify the erring organizations, all those responsible, accountable, and take decisive action to mitigate the living condition of our communities. However, out of the 35 companies invited for the hearing, only four appeared, prompting the House to adjourn seating. Before that, the Chairman House Committee on Climate Change used the opportunity to advise on the importance of understanding the danger of ignoring the impact of climate change using the recent rain disaster that occurred in Dubai as a case study. Climate change is a very serious issue. We, we see what happened recently in Dubai. We saw it. And we see the extreme temperature even here in Abuja. We all see it every day. So even the caliber of those who are here today, I also think that the chief executives of the companies should also be here. Let us engage each other and agree on the way forward. Because 2050 is roughly how many? 26 years away from, from this year. And also, and if we don't do something, I can assure you, what happened in Dubai will be a child's play. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.